Telepan TV. This past year in the 2011 Zaga Guide, Telepan was named Best Brunch in all of New York City. You can't imagine how proud and happy we were when that happened. We're hoping that this might be one of the dishes that might have helped out. It's our biscuits and gravy. Here's the way we do it here at Telepan. Uh, we take some really good quality ground pork from our friends at Flying Pig Farm, and we're going to add to it a little salt, some dried sage. Dried herbs are great in this because they have really have a little more intense flavor than the fresh herbs, so uh, we like to use the dried ones in this for the sausage. Some dried thyme, a little ground ginger, some black pepper, and the key ingredient I think is the red pepper flake. So we're going to again put this into our KitchenAid and mix it up. This is the normal paddle guy. Again, we're going to let it go just like your cream and butter for a cake. We're going to let it go for a few minutes so the ingredients mix in well. We've got about two pounds of meat here. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to take half of the sausage and use it for gravy. And the other half we're going to pour in the patty. So for the gravy, we're going to render this baby in here and let that cook for a little bit until it gets nice and brown. And now the rest are just going to form into patty. So I'll keep my hands wet for this one so they don't stick to it. And again, you can make them as big or as little as you want. So I think it's about a tablespoon. We'll form these patties. I'd say these are about like one and a half, two ounces. So we'll get a pretty fair amount of them out of this. It's always good to have extra, isn't it? So you want to cook the sausage all the way through. It'll take several minutes to do that. And once you do, you want to take ready to go. Take some chicken stock and you want to add just enough liquid on there to cover it over. And we're going to add probably like an equal amount of the cream. I'm back with the uh, lovely and talented Larissa Raphael, our steamed pastry Hello. chef that's here at Telepan Restaurant to show us the, the uh, biscuits. Now Larissa, there's one ingredient here that I think is the key to this ingredient, to, this, to these biscuits. And what is that? It's the pork fat. Yes. So Larissa, let's show them how, to, how it goes about. So okay, go great. So you want to start uh, with the flour. You can do this right on your countertop. Now this is all-purpose flour? This is all-purpose flour. And then I add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and some baking powder. And then you want to mix these all together, get them mixed up. When it's all mashed together, you're going to add your a little bit of butter and a little bit of pork fat in this recipe. And so this is like cutting, it's called cutting it. And if you did, if you wanted to do this in like a mixer, you just sort of mix it together? Or what about if you had one of those Metaluna knives? Kind of you fun. can use one of those too. And if you do it in your machine, just mix it on the lowest speed with the paddle. Or you can use the dough hook on the lowest speed. You're going to do this for a couple of minutes till, the, till they get down to like pea size, Little right? Little pea size pieces. You really just mushing, I guess you would say, the uh, flour into the pork fat and butter. Then you can make sort of a well in the middle because you're going to add some milk and this will at least help it not spread all over your counter. So start to add in the flour or the milk. Ah, it's going anyway. Now this is a very wet dough. Yeah. Dust some flour down. Take your dough. Place it down. A little more flour on top. Just a little padding. There we go. Okay, so after you've had your dough rest in the refrigerator for 10 to 20 minutes, a half hour if you need it. Can you make this uh, the night before? You can also there? make the dough the night before. So that sauce you can get it out of your way in the morning, wake up and cut your biscuits and go. So, if you don't, I have a cookie cutter to use. But if you don't have a cookie cutter at home, you can use a small juice glass to cut the circle. What about if you just cut them in the square? I was just about to say, you could use a knife and cut them into squares, and that would be perfectly fine, too. Okay. So, just push them in, and... That's going to make a thick biscuit. I would do these at 350, and they'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to throw them in, then. 
So while the biscuits are cooking, let's cook the sausage patty that we formed before. So I'm just going to heat up a pan, get it nice and hot. And you got to hear the sizzle. Get a little vegetable oil in there. What you'll do is you'll let them get nice and brown on the one side. And then we'll pop them into the oven. I got the oven turned all the way up, but you know, like a, anything above 400 would work great. Just give them a little flip over. And once you pop them in the oven, they'll take anywhere from about like, you know, four to six minutes or so to cook, so. Look at her. Look at that. What we'll do with the biscuits at this point when they're cooked, wow, we'll do that. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome that they could do that all the time. So you just, we're just looking to toast them on one side, that's it. And again, you don't have to do this part. There's a little extra decadent. Sausage. And so, come right out. A little right on top there. Oh yeah. Looking good. Like a poached egg. And the finale. Oh god. Get your forks ready, people. There we go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Biscuits and gravy. Telepan way. Mmm. 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 Telepan TV, so we'll see you at Telepan for brunch, lunch, and dinner, or on, on TV, but right now, don't bother me, I mean. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, look at the egg. There's those animal noises.